Hi ladies and gentlemen, today I wrote a code to convert the time domain signal to frequency domain um, by using a function and sees behavior, the how it behaves in frequency domain if a time domain signal is transformed by using the Fourier transform. Uh, remember the Fourier transform is used for uh, both periodic and non-periodic signals. So uh, let me demonstrate this example and then I will come back to the code to explain it, the, how it works. For the instance, for the first example, it's a book of Oppenheim, Signal and System, second edition, and example 4.7. It says that we have a signal in time domain which is e to the minus 80 and a is some kind of constant. And uh, we can solve it generically, so we'll put the value of a and its limits starting from 0 to infinity. So actually I can solve for infinity in MATLAB, so I will use some kind of definite values and my targeted answer will be this one. Magnitude plus and phase plot. So well, let's get started with SYMST, my variable, and then I will use, just use the function f transform and exponential minus 10, a t, a is minus 10, and from 0 to 10, here's my limits. I'm not using infinity because there are some problems with solving infinity in MATLAB. So here's my graph. So let's match the graphs. So as you can see in both graphs, we have same kind of behavior, magnitude and phase. So let's solve another example. From this, we can conclude that the code or the function which is written in MATLAB is quite accurate. So we can see its behavior. So here is another function, example 4.10. It's just a box from negative 1t1. So we can solve it generically. So we will put some values of t and the magnitude is 1. So let's solve this. Uh, here's the function and I will say the function is 1. Amplitude is 1 and it's starting from negative 2 and going to 2 and just a box. So let's see the answer. Here's my answer. Uh, let's match. So as you can see it's perfectly fine uh, and perfectly accurate by this uh, solution in the example and my plot. So for the instance if we say that we have an exponential function but it's not decaying, it's increasing. And starting from 0 to 10, so let's see how it behaves. So as you can see we have a, this kind of response. Let's re re reduce the 10. So we have 2 and going to 5. Let's see, okay, so ladies and gentlemen, with the exponential function, we have behavior like this one. Rising exponential, not decaying. So, it's a very efficient code. Just you have to put the values, or put the arguments of your function, and it will calculate, show you the magnitude, plus the plot of magnitude and phase. So, here's my function. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this function says that we have a function f, we put in arguments and here are our limits and uh, you have to integrate the function with, with e to the minus j omega t with, with respect to t from your limits and store in x and then you have to just display solution not magnitude then we will as we are now in frequency domain so we will assign the values of omega from negative 20 to 20 with an increment point 0.1 and inline our answer and then we plug the values of omega from negative 20 to 20 and after that this one is very simple to just, just, just plot the graphs in time in, in, uh, of frequency domain so here I use real to plot the magnitude and imaginary to plot uh, phase re response so hope you're gonna like this function and use it thanks for your time take care bye